In our last episode, for the finale of the first season, I composed a piece of music with a virtual version of my cellist friend, Clara. That's, that's it. it? Well, no, that's not it. As we promised you, we have a bonus episode to go along with our season finale. And this is going to give you an insight into the recordings with Clara and how I turned them into a cello texture toolkit named Reverie. I knew I wanted to do something unique and more experimental with Clara on her cello. That's probably, I think that's enough, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Could have written an easier motif. And I didn't want to go for any basic articulations. So we started off playing around with long, evolving sounds and with overtones and harmonics. We didn't actually know where the experiment would go. Initially, I just had a few ideas for sounds and the idea of using the six notes from the virtual orchestration motif to infuse everything. But I did know that I wanted Clara to participate in finding some sounds. So cool, you hear Wow, it's playing like a full chord. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's really cool. So, together, we explored the cello one sound at a time. And Clara even tried some things that she'd never done before. <laughs> and while I didn't know exactly what I'd end up with, I had started writing my piece already around some flute articulations from Claire's Lucent Library. So we recorded some ultra soft staccato and some very soft short crescendos which would really complement the articulations that Claire had done. And then last of all, we did some one and two bar swells, so that I could use a few long notes from Clara too. And in addition to all of those sounds, we also experimented with some phrases based on the six note motif, short clusters, percussive sounds like hits and knocks, unpitched colenio hits, harmonic glissando tremolo swells, and some extra harmonic glissando effects. That's there. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, Thank you. <laughs> and all of these were recorded into Pro Tools and would eventually need editing. All of the fun is in the recording, but the editing is the hard bit. Each articulation was recorded in a long take, so I needed to cut the samples up and to the right length, denoise them, and then occasionally tune some of them to get everything nice and consistent. And to not get lost with more than a thousand chopped up and processed samples, I needed to name every single one of them. The reason file naming is important is because once I get them into contact, I can save a lot of time by using the auto map feature, which reads the info for the pitch directly from the file name. So I do this for each articulation and make lots of individual patches, each with customized release lengths and round robins for a couple too. And this is also where I can add a filter control in, which is controlled by the mod wheel, and some additional reverb. But in this case, I had an extra step. I made two additional layers, a room mic position, made by sending the recordings into a convolution reverb of a small studio, and an effects layer. And as I name my files properly, Contact automatically puts the samples for the spot, room, and effects layers into the correct group. I customise the effects layer for each articulation, creating an individual chain of filtered delays and reverbs.
So the patches are all built, but it's always useful to have a bit of control in the user interface. And so the last thing that we did was design some virtual orchestration themed buttons, knobs, and faders, and build them in using the scripting feature in Contact. And that's it. That's how I turned my experiment with Clara into a small sample library. As this is the bonus to the season finale, if you have any questions on sampling, then just let us know in the comments. And please do share how you use Reverie in your compositions with us too. You can find the link to download the library in the video description. Ah, but that's not it. I have a small announcement to make. As we got so many comments about the music I composed for this channel, I decided to release it as a soundtrack to our first season. You can find my album Virtual Orchestration on all music streaming services, and I hope you have a listen. So if you've liked the videos of our first season, then please do share them with your friends and on your socials. That all helps us to make great videos in the next season, next year. Until then, see you on the next episode of Virtual Orchestration.